Spiritual coach for the creative soul. <laughs> Apparently, I've got the flying nun wispies going on. Well, I'm here to do um, psychic readings and healings for people. And hey, Bliss in the Sun, I like your username. Hi, Leela Lou. Leah Lou, hi. Oh, thanks for the taps, you guys. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Brenda. Do you guys. Hello, hello, Bliss in the Sun. You guys are welcome to ask um, questions for free for like the first five minutes. After that, readings are $33 and you can set up payment through the link in my bio. Um, Bliss in the Sun, will you find work soon? Yes, it's going to be at a slightly lower level than you really want. And I almost got this feeling of like waitressing, but it will be work um, and it will kind of like carry you through until the next better thing does come along hi cat will mark be coming back to cat no andrea will you retire and move to florida by age 55 yes but i feel like you're gonna it's almost like your feet touch ground and you're gonna like turn around and like scramble out of there brenda is drum coming back no i'm turning on the timer Uh, at least it's work. Yep, at least it's work. You're welcome. You're welcome. Leah, does Jeremiah's contact... Uh, I'm trying... There's a bunch of typos. I'm trying to figure them out. Uh, does Jeremiah's contact mean he still ha has romantic feelings for you? Does Jeremiah still have feelings does Jeremiah still have romantic feelings for Leah they're fading they're almost almost non-existent is D coming back to summer lady not yet um Oh, that's a yep. Okay. Um. Yeah. Thanks for the confirmation, Leah. Uh, Harry is S in love with Harry. Yes. Yay. Hi, Teresa. Hi, only one. Everybody who's in here, if you could tap, that would be awesome. Just tap away at the screen, share the live, do some um, gifty things. And if you'd like to subscribe, I will do a one card read for you. You're welcome, Harry. I am on live fairly often, Bliss. It. Yeah, if you want to follow me, um, then uh, you'll know when I go live. Also, I encourage all of you to go to my website through, you can use the link in my bio, but it's peacockandpaisley.com. Um, you can set up a private reading through there, and I also have a free um, workbook in my shop that is for connecting with your intuition. It's part of a new course that I just created, um, which is also in the shop. Um, and it's just designed to help you to connect with your intuition, get used to working with it. Ooh, thanks for subscribing, Bliss in the Sun. Harry, thanks for following me, Summer Lady. Um, when, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, sorry, Bliss in the Sun, hang with me for a minute. Let me do two more minutes of the um, free readings. Or I'll pause this. Okay, you guys, hold your thoughts, hang in there with me. Let me, sub if you guys want to subscribe, I will do readings for you too. It's a one card read for the, when you subscribe. Ooh, soul work. I love this card. This card is one of the reasons why I bought this deck. Um, you feel pulled to me for some reason. Oh, how cool is that? That is awesome. 
Oh, sorry, hold on one second. I put um, hand cream on right before I came live, and um, I don't want to get it on the cards. Hi, Mrs. Sparky. Uh, Bliss in the Sun, do you have like a question? Hi, darling. <laughs> Hi, CNN. Hi, just Diane. Welcome. I'm Heather. I am. Hi, you're. I am a psychic medium and an energy healer. And, um,. If you would like to subscribe up here, whoops, I'll do a one card reading for you like I'm just about to do for Bliss in the Sun. Although two cards came out for you, Bliss. Um, they fell out before your comment came through, but um, oh, Mother, thanks for following me. I Summer Lady says she agrees I'm having a pull on her also. Cool! Yeah, awesome. Well, awesome. Okay, so let's see. Just work, which we we covered, and someone you misnamed Todd. So I don't know. You were probably thinking about these things, but these are the cards that fell out. We'll just explore this for a second. Trust, and these are um, moths that they fly by moonlight and by um, kind of like a. They're too. They're tapped into the magnetic. Um, pull of the earth, like the, the, the poles, the magnetic poles, and pheromones. So maybe that has something to do with Todd. Um, but that's, that's part of the trust. Like, trust your intuition that you know where to go and how to do it. Um, and of course, moths like butterflies are amazing, and I'm getting huge goose bumps about this. Um, huge, uh, it's about transformation. You know, you change shape and color and everything. <laughs> and it's not easy. <laughs> and nobody can make it work go faster for you because otherwise it'll kill you. So you have to do this transition and doing the transition itself, like doing it is part of what helps you to transform. So there's, I'm, I'm getting the phrase, there's no shortcuts. Um, I, okay, now here's the other one. <laughs> Underworld. And that is... You think you understand? Okay. Um, in case it's hard to see, those are two hands that are bound by, like, barbed wire in this, or thorn, thorny line. Um, and they're holding the threads of fate, but you can't do anything yet, because it's not time yet. Which goes with the, you got to do the process thing. Hi, Tama. Welcome, welcome. Um... <laughs> so the hard part about this if, if this so I'm just gonna I'll go right into this part of the information um, the hard part about the underworld hi Tama the hard part about the underworld is that this goes back to the story of Hades Persephone and Demeter now Hades was the asshole god of the underworld or is depending on your point of view this is Greek mythology um and he decided to uh, kidnap and s steal and, you know, whatever, um, Persephone, who was the embodiment of spring. And she was the daughter of Demeter, who was like the goddess of fertility and abundance and, you know, crop production. And so when she was stolen, she, Demeter, like, cut the world off and basically said, oh, Doris, thanks for following me. And, and said, you know, all right, life's over until I get my daughter back. And so she went down into the underworld and fought and bargained with Hades and negotiated and she had to make a compromise. The only thing she was able to do was get Persephone out for like six months of the year. So when Persephone leaves the underworld, um, in spring, it's become springtime, but then she has to go back. So, you know, to me, it feels like your hands are tied in terms of Todd. 
and I'm getting confirmation. Yes, they just you're gonna have to wait. You have to just focus on you. And I'm getting confirmation on that, and just um, it's not exactly writing it out because there are things that you have to do, but you do actually know what those things are. So I hope that was helpful, and I wish you the absolute very best with the job situation. I, I, I you know, I know what that's like, and. Um, Something's coming along and then something even better will come along. You're transforming from the inside out. And so any job or person will shift also as you shift. You like the focus on you. Yes, you're welcome. You need one very soon. Yep. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Tanisha. Um, okay, so I hope that was, I hope that was helpful. Um, all right, let me turn the, the, okay, we've got two minutes left of, of free readings, so you guys can ask your questions, and then after that, it's $33, um, and you can set that up through the link in my bio, and if you want to cut the line, that's the way to do it. Um, it was very helpful. Okay, good. And I wish you the very best. And I'm so glad you're a subscriber. Subscribers get um, uh, like priority when the when I'm doing the free reads. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Is anybody really thirsty or is that just actually me? So here's one of the things that happens when I do readings. I, I'm an empath and so I experience what somebody else is experiencing. <laughs> You've been thirsty all day, Tyla? You're so welcome, bless in the sun. Tyla, thanks for following me. Keegan, thanks for following me. Big bargain detergent jug is eighty percent water, right? Let's turn that ad off. Um, Uh, let's see. Will Diane meet her weight loss goal this year? Yes. I feel like towards like the end of November. Huh, Tyla, you're a teacher and you guess you talked too much today. Remember to stay really hydrated. We're all shifting. We're all progressing. Um, the so I, I, it may sound very woo woo to you, but the, all of these like solar flares, uh, geomagnetic activity, um, and the, they're like these radio blackouts, which I, honestly, I don't understand those exactly, but all of these things are combining to actually change us. So things that made sense before or the way things worked before is not necessarily the way they work now. So make sure that you are staying hydrated with really healthy, clear, pure, pure water. Um, hi, Sarah. Hello, she's Sarah says, hello, beautiful soul. You've never been in my life before. Well, welcome. All right. Um, oops. Um, yes, Grace, go ahead and ask questions. I'm not sure if I will be able to catch them. If you want to make sure that I do, please do a $33 payment. Um, and, uh, and then we'll come right back and do a reading for you. Tyla, you feel some, you know that something's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Stay s steady and stable. Betsy, you've been seeing a lot and hearing clearly. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> Let me scroll down. Hello, Paula. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you for that beautiful testimonial yesterday. I think it was yesterday. And I really enjoyed talking with you, as always. Um, will Zane reach out to Grace? Yes. Uh, Tanisha, will you and Franklin? The world is shifting. Yeah, it really is. Aw, thanks, Paula. Paula says, me too, love. Hi, Anna. Welcome. Glad you're here. Uh, will Yusuf text Linda? Yes. Will Rosa move this year? No. 
I've never said yes to you before, Grace. I'm glad something's changed for the better. Yay. <laughs> so you guys, hi everybody. I'm sure, I, there, I think there are a few new people in here. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Heather. I am a psychic. Um, I'm an empath. I'm a medium. I'm an energy healer. And one of the things that happens when I do readings is that, um, especially if I'm doing like these really fast kind of like yes or no questions, I won't remember. Like, so please don't take it personally as not like, you know, I don't mean to be rude. It's just like, I don't remember. I won't remember your name. I won't remember the answer to your question. If you ask me again later, I won't remember what we were talking about. So don't ask me a follow-up question. If you need to ask follow-up questions, you've got to do a paid reading. Um, oh, Paula, Heather, is this man just met for real? What's... Okay. <sighs> um. <laughs> Paula, I get ya. Um. And let me turn the music back on. Um. <sighs> oh, Patricia, does your husband visit you from heaven? Yes. Blessed, thanks for following me. Paula says, take your time, feel it, then tell it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tapping in. Um, Grinders. Grinders Association, thanks for following me. Um, okay, what does... Oh, he is for real. Like, deep. Like, deep. He's got a good... A good soul, a good spirit. Um, but I'm not sure for how long. There's like a an ache on the edge of it. A grief ache. I, ooh, there's some kind of grief going on. Jalen, does Travis want to reconnect? Yes. Hi, Lindsay. Welcome. Over Gina, overall, yes. You can trust your sister as executive of your dad's estate, but there's she's gonna pull some fast. She's gonna be sneaky about some things. Somebody's comments got filtered. Anna, thanks for following me. You're welcome, Gina. So, Tanisha, I got that Franklin is good for you, but he's not a long-term. D, your health will get better. Paula, you did hear me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Paula says, heard you. Thank you. She'll get him out of that dark grief place. Love to all of you. Love to you, too, Paula. I'm, I'm not sure what the grief story is, Paula. Um, it just, enjoy. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, I love the waves and the hearts. That's awesome, Paula. You're welcome, Dee. You're welcome, Tanisha. Um, okay, you guys, my, my list is open. So, oh, thanks for, uh, thanks for all the likes, you guys tap away. Yep. And like tap away and share. Um, if this, 
you know, if you guys aren't ready to do a reading, um, then share it with somebody that you think might be. Um, because when everybody's in a room like this together, um, the divine tries to coordinate things so that as many people get healing as possible. And so I call it kind of like piggybacking, like somebody else's message might be very helpful for you also. Let there be light. All right, Paula. Absolutely. Grinders Association. I'm not sure what you mean about your son. Uh, Nicole, will your daughter come back to you? She's carrying your granddaughter, but her boyfriend is blocking you. I got no, not yet. She's got a tricky situation to navigate. He pasted? I don't know what you mean, Grinder. Grinder, Dave, I'm, you're making me hungry. <laughs> All I can think of is a grinder, which, depending on where you are from, a grinder is a, like a hot sub sandwich. It's a type of hot sandwich. Savannah, will Aubrey come back? Not yet. Oh, your son passed. I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. Hi, Leah, welcome. DG, hey, welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you for the roses. Will PQ reach out to DG? Yes, but not soon. Thanks, thanks for the roses. Grinders, that's, would you like to do a reading that is kind of... You're welcome, DG. Hi, Tama. Hi, hi, France. Hi, Charlie. Blessed. Uh, Isabel, yes. Tama, I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Hi, Connie. You're from Northern California. Oh, very nice. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Debbie. Laney girl. Will Greg go back to Laney? Not yet. Hey, Heidi. Oh, you're feeling yucky today, but resting? Oh, I hope you feel better soon. Why did I get the get the impression of um oh really good miso soup like freshly made miso soup hi steve you're in massachusetts very nice cool welcome laney thank you for the rose you're welcome hey heidi i'm doing well how are you hi sherry berry hello komodo hi eve Thanks, you guys, for all the tapping. That really, that's really helpful. Oh, Christina, I don't do pregnancy stuff on here. It's not safe in the United States to talk about your pregnancy anywhere in public. Yeah, miso soup is really... Um, it used to be one of my favorite healing go-tos, and then I stopped... No, that's Christina. You don't don't you don't gotta be sorry with me. That's okay. Um, you know the laws are draconian. They're dangerous. Molly, thanks for following me. You're in Ohio, and your crazy weather has your allergies all over the place. Do you I do you have spring coming in today, this morning, and a little bit this afternoon? It was the first time I heard. Um, birds singing really spring songs it was really awesome good golly miss molly oh i love your name okay i can turn them is the music too loud can you hear it <laughs> i'm not sure if i've got the volume right hey molly Anna, you want to start a creative business and need some guidance. Could I help you with that? Absolutely. Yep. 
Massachusetts has a small cold front, but it's nice though. Awesome. Do you have any flowers coming up yet? Any daffodils or crocuses? Thanks for the taps, you guys. Thanks for the likes. Hi, Kathy. You do. Oh, nice. Nice. That's such a beautiful <clears throat> part of spring. Corinne Corrado. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. All right, my list is open, you guys. It's $33 for a reading here on TikTok, and you can set it up through the link in my profile. Just tap up here, and it will lead you there. Also, um, if you're working on connecting with your intuition, I have a work back for that. And if you go get it for like the next week or so, it'll be free. So go sign up. It's a download. It's a PDF download and you can, um, you know, print it out at home. And if you're interested in having, being able to buy it as a, you know, a properly printed, um, you know, like workbook, workbook. Oh, thanks, Tama. I appreciate the gift. Thank you. Um, let me know because I'm thinking about setting it up on Amazon. Oh, Tama, you just got the number one gifter badge. Woohoo! Thank you. Wicked Cat Candles. Johnny, will you become financially free? Yes, but not super soon. But it is coming. Good for you. Tama. <laughs> Yeah, the miso soup. I don't know. That just popped in. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I had a little lunch snack earlier. Apparently, I need to have like a, a bigger meal soon. <laughs> Somebody was asking about their son who passed um, grinders. Are you still in here? Let me know. You just sent your uh, message to your husband to bring you some? Oh, that's great. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Oh, yeah. What I was saying was I, when I figured out what was bad, what foods were bad for me, soy was one of them. American soy. Basically American food. So I stopped eating it, but I love it. It's so yummy. I also really love those, um, I don't know what they're supposed to be called, but they're like spicy like rice crackers there are all sorts of different shapes it's like it's kind of like japanese chex mix <laughs> i love them i love them. <laughs> it's so healthy the miso soup like really good miso soup is so healthy for you and i'll kick a cold if you like have something with it with um that's really spicy with it but those little snacky things are so delicious with their junk food Hi, Anna. So readings here on a live are $33. Hi, Rose. I don't do any kind of pregnancy uh, readings here on TikTok because it uh, can put your life at risk here in the United States. And if you don't know, I'd be happy to explain it. Thanks for liking the live, Anna. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Oh, now I know why. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering why my camera was so dirty last night. Well, not my my phone camera was so dirty last night, and I just uh, I just realized it's probably from hand cream. <laughs> Hi, Meredith. Welcome. Hi, uh, your your go. Hi, Faith. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Heather. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing, Faith? How's it going, everybody? Hi, Beverly. What was the favorite thing that's happened to you today? What's the best thing that happened to you? Everybody who's in here, what's the, the best thing? 
I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking, Faith. And thanks for liking the live. Tap away, you guys. Tap away. Even if it's not a reading for you, if somebody gets somebody else gets a reading, then um, usually there's something helpful in that for you also. Um, and so, like, if you could share the live, I think the little arrow thing's down there, um, and tap away and type things like psychic reading in, in the comments, and that'll help bring more people in. And somebody will get a reading, and that means you'll get some info too. Faith, thank you for following me. Hi, Connie. Welcome, welcome. Miko, is that how you say your name? Henderson? Hi, Chloe. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> Thanks, Faith. It rhymes with Michelle. Okay, Mikel. All right. Very pretty spelling. And a great explanation. Thanks, Faith, for liking the live. Tap away, you guys. Tap, tap. Shannon, helping your mom's spirit comes through a little over a month without her. Oh, Shannon, I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks for following me. Shannon, you should do a reading. It's 33 bucks. You're welcome, Mikkel. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I'm working on it. I'm laughing at myself. It's like I know how to say it, but for some reason I was looking at it. And just pronouncing it a different way. Hello, Komodo. Thank you for coming back. So you guys, I do all sorts of different kinds of readings, and I want to recommend that you check out my soul garden on my website, um, peacockandpaisley.com, and you can find all of my courses in there, um, and as I add new courses, which is usually about one a month, um, though that's included, so you'll, you'll have free access to those courses as they're added. Um, the one that I did most recently is, um, how to connect with your intuition. You'll keep, Shannon, you'll keep watching to see if a spirit comes through. You'd love to see me give a reading first. Yep, I get it. Who knows? Keep tapping, though. That'll help to bring in other people. Um, and the other thing you can do is go to, um... My YouTube, which you can find through my profile here, like tap on the Instagram icon and it will, then it will give you the YouTube, <laughs> YouTube option. Cause I just uploaded, um, a, a recording of a live that was recent. It can take a long time though, only because you paid someone and they were fake. Yeah, there are fakers. Bad. Terrible karma. This is terrible karma for them. Hi, Alex. Hi, old gray mare, Bev. Oh, cool. You just subscribed to my YouTube. Hello, Komodo. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, Tama, thank you. Shannon, Tama says I'm good. Tama has been a subscriber, and so she's had several readings. Thanks, Tama. Shannon sends, sends a love, and she's like, yeah, show me. <laughs> so, Shannon, tell me just to kill time and to help the, the algorithm. Oh, Anna, you sent for a reading. Did I get it on Square? Let me go look. Thanks for telling me. Awesome, Anna. Sweet. So, Shannon, now you get to watch me read for Anna. Um, let's see. There we go. I got it. Thank you very much. Perfect. There. All right. You can't wait. Okay. All right, Anna. 
buckle in. All right, what do you what what do you want to ask about? What's your question, Anna? I think you asked me a question earlier about um, starting a creative business. Did I? Am I remembering that correctly? Am I actually remembering a question for like? Yes. Okay. Do you want to ask me another question or anything like really specific? This is like laser coaching. This is like, it's like, zoop, like let's go like right to the heart of the matter. So that I'm not looking around in like the back of your closet coming out, pulling out old shoes that you're like, I don't care about that one. Tell me about whatever else. Let's just go to the whatever else. Hey, Cordelia, how you doing? Nice to see you. Glad you're here. Hope you're doing okay. You're feeling scattered and a bit lost. That's okay. Um, so the first question, so the first thing that came through is I want to ask you, when, when did that start? And there's a reason I'm asking you questions. It's to help you process. So while you're answering that in the comments, let me see if I can pull you up live. No, uh, not, nope, okay. Tie-dyed tie beauty, oh cool. Um, so one of the things that's going on kind of like cosmically, astrologically for everybody is some of that same feeling. It's, um, you think it's been forever your whole life. All right. Okay. So just for you and for anybody else who's listening, there is stuff, I'm just going to say cosmically, that's going on that is part of what a lot of people call ascension. And basically, we are unanchoring from, some people call it 3D or 4D, or we're unanchoring from the old and we're being like adjusted in huge ways and and then we're getting anchored back into the new so um for anybody who's been experiencing kind of like a temporary feeling of that same that's what it feels like anna that's a this that would be like a temporary thing that that's been happening for the last well, roughly two weeks, but that's also for forerunners. So it, these things happen in waves so that there are some people who still are grounded and have, you know, who are okay. So that we're taking turns climbing the ladder in a way. And we reach down and we help people come up. And then they reach, you know, they get up a next step and then they reach down and, and then we go up another step. But, um... If you're feeling and you've been, you feel like it's been now, now are you exaggerating when you say it feels like it's been your whole life or you really mean that? I feel like you really mean that. <clears throat> you're going to lock into your thing really soon. You mean it. Okay. You're going to lock into your thing really soon. And there are reasons for your, um, I'm going to, there are reasons for your delay, which it doesn't make sense to me rationally, but I'm, this is what the information that's coming through. So I'm going to go with it and then we'll figure things out as we go. So for the delay, okay, so your, your guides are saying for the delay, for kicking in for your, your thing, your like mission and it's basically cause you're super powerful. And you didn't want to be anchored to the old world, which is as much beauty as there is in the old world. It's also like brutal and awful and you didn't want to be connected to it. You couldn't be and maintain like a higher level. So you've kind of in some senses been sort of floating like a ghost, <laughs> kind of like Casper or whatever, a little bit. Um, but you're going to kick in and like that other stuff is going to like fall away and 
you're gonna like and you're gonna it's gonna be like have you ever ridden a motorcycle it's gonna be like riding a motorcycle when like you downshifted and then like take off so you're gonna really take off and it's you're gonna be you're very powerful and nobody around you is gonna like recognize you in a way they're gonna be like <gasps> you know like we never knew she was capable of that yeah um so when that kicks in you're gonna be in like um, hyperdrive is kind of like the word that's coming through and I'm not, let's feel, is that sort of a Star Trek term? I don't know. It's like, you're going to be going fast and powerful and you have a, a deep, powerful, strong mission and you're part of cleaning up the act, the spiritual situation here over. Yeah. It's, it's beyond overdrive. <laughs> it's be way beyond overdrive. Um, it is like super powerful um okay so but let's bring it back to the, your timer went off so let's bring it back to the practical which is right now right um and um basically like cosmically you're kind of like just waiting for that to kick in and it's going to be relatively soon, um, but I'm asking and continuing to ask your guides for more practical stuff for like right now, between now and then. They're saying that you're okay until then. Do whatever you want. Ooh, kind of like, they're kind of like stepping back, like do whatever you want, bitch. but like, cause it doesn't matter until that other thing happens. But um, let me see if I can tap into something else. It's all about you just prepping up for this big shift, which involves the practical, physical things in this world of taking care of your body and your spirit, your mind and your soul, and like going it's, as soon as you can without like freezing your tootsies. But go outside barefoot and stand on the earth, not on cement, not on pavement, but on like the grass or the dirt or sand. You know like at a beach or something like that and just stand there and let the pulse let yourself feel yeah it's grounding let yourself feel the pulse like do all of this stuff like almost excessively but it's not really it's very you're like a shaman you're prepping for a big big deal so grounding sunlight hot salt water baths um, with rosemary that's your primary thing a couple of florals like um i keep wanting to say lavender but i'm not sure if that's okay they're telling me yes um and rose rose um like organic rose petals from like the health food store not no roses from the florist because they're full of chemicals poor things um, or rose essential oil, but try to be as organic about everything as possible. They're saying to eat good, don't do drugs or drink, very minimal in the drinking, very minimal, like not recreationally, like, like a little bit with like family dinner or something kind of level, like not, <laughs> I know, I know, Anna, Anna says, oh boy, yeah, yeah. What else? Ooh, look to the clothes that you wear, that they have a good vibration for you. You work at a bar. Well, you can work there with, you know, you get exposed to stuff, but you can work there without, without doing. I know. I know. I know. Just handle it. I, and I and I don't mean that like facetiously or or but like you have the capacity you have the capability so just put people in their place do your thing I just saw I just got something about like makeup like eye makeup like almost like blue powder shadow or something but are in liner but kind of like cut back on that you've been working on it it's really important so here's part of why it's important. Um, 
because when you um, drink or do drugs or ex you know eat food that's bad for you or expose yourself to people that are bad for you, music, hi Naya, um, any of those things put holes in your natural spiritual energy bubble that protects you. So like when you're healthy and vibrant, your bubble is, is good. The makeup is full of chemicals. It is. And you're the first person, like I, I talk about that on very rare occasions, but you're the first person that's actually come through and that information has come through in a reading for. So it apparently it's very important for you. Ooh, they want your eyes to be clear. And I also just thought, which made me think of, um, you know how a lot of people here on TikTok are always talking about putting castor oil around your eyes to help your eyesight, but they want your eyes to be clear like physically but because of spiritually wow you're gonna be seeing and reading and you're gonna be doing things oh <gasps> so cool yeah Woo! i mean you can't tell but i got goosebumps so anna i hope you're i hope you'll i hope you're following me and i hope that you um will sign up for my newsletter um Let's stay in touch and let's stay, you know, across multiple platforms because you never know which one's going to go down. Um, but yeah, you got you got some good stuff going on. And do the business. They're saying do the business. That's so cool. You see so many repeating numbers lately. Very awesome. Very awesome. Do you know what they mean? Ah. Hi, Wide Awake. I hope you're staying in here. I like your videos. That was your main question about the business. Yeah, we're going to have to do that another in another reading. I mean, you could do another reading right now if you want, but that's... I went over the type. You don't know what to do. Okay, it's going to come to you. They're going to inspire you. And it's going to help lead to other things. So have, you know... Do the, the work at the bar and then also start like, you know, a side business that has the potential to expand and don't like, I kept thinking of, um, like selling artwork on Redbubble or some kind of, do some kind of, um, you know how people talk about businesses scaling, basically set it up so that you don't have to operate it all the time, but so that it, like you set it up. You put whatever it is in there, you know, digital products or whatever, so that people can buy them and then you can keep doing the rest of your life because then there's going to be another thing after that that's going to come that will be outside of the bar. And I don't know why this is coming up, but it's like, and I don't know if you can see me if I do this. Okay. And it's opposite. But anyway, okay, like bar, side business, like digital stuff, and then like another business that's over here. It's like, and this card is staring at me from the bottom of the deck. It was just staring at me. I had, aloha, Nikki. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Wait, Anna, I don't know what that means. I see, okay. Yeah, oh wow, yeah. Yeah, so do it. And you might have people helping you, like, I don't know who they are, but they are, like, um, in your business. They're the worker bees. You might have some worker bees um, that kind of, like, run things, do things for you. And then you're going to make money from that. And you're going to use some of that money and the connections that come with it to go do this other business. It's just, it's, you're powerful and it's going to expand. Hi, Piper. So congratulations. That's cool. And if you ever want um, some coaching or mentoring on starting a business or, you know, like an additional um, reading, we can do that here again on live or set something up through my website. Hi, Christina. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. You're welcome, Anna. Anna says, wow, that was so awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Many blessings. Tama, thanks for liking the live. Hey, Lillian, how are you? Do you subscribe to get a reading? Uh, new to TikTok. That's, and that sounds good. Okay, cool beans, Anna. 
I'm also a marketing consultant. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and a branding. So branding is part of that. Uh, you need healing, Naya? Well, you're in the right place. Well, thank you, Anna. Anna says many blessings to, to you as well. Thank you, Anna. I appreciate that. Uh, Lillian, if you want to have a one card reading, uh, you su can subscribe, but if you want to have like a reading that I just, like I just did for Anna, you go to the link in my bio and do a $33 payment. Um, technically it's a donation. Hey, is, um, see, you don't, I already don't remember your name. Uh, where we go? Where we go? Hi, Brandy. Oh, thank you, Anna. Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. Thank you. Who was the person who wanted it? Oh, Shannon. Are you still here? Hi, Ada. Hello, welcome. Tamla, thanks for liking the live. So, everybody, keep liking the live. Tap the screen. And it will help to bring people in and put comments, ask questions. I may or may not be able to answer them um, unless you're doing a paid reading. But uh, put them in the, make, put your comments in the comments thingy. And um, that helps to bring more people in. And if somebody else gets a reading, then usually if you're here at the same time, it means that there's some helpful information in there for you. Hi, K-Dub. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Excuse me. I don't know. I So, I've been processing a lot, too, lately. Um, I don't know. Raise your hand in the comments if this has been the keys for you, too. But, um, you know, like, my, my body's shifting. I'm always healthy. I like go into hard I hibernate. My body hibernates like it wants to hibernate in the winters. Um, when spring kicks in, it starts to shed and clear. And by the way, happy Ostara, everybody. Happy Maybon. This is uh, um, apparently the first day of spring. It doesn't entirely, it sort of feels like it to me, but it doesn't entirely. It doesn't feel like it's kicked in yet. Rachel... Rachel, I don't answer pregnancy questions because if you're in the United States, um, it could get you killed. And if you don't know what's going on with that, I'm happy to explain. Amanda, you're trying to transform your life. You've left a narcissistic relationship and trying to move on. Rock on, high five. Woohoo, congratulations. I um, have experience with that I, and I coach a lot of people who are um, are healing um, you absolutely can heal good for you transforming your life you're you're welcome Amanda um, and this is the place to be so I hope you'll follow me um, and also sign up for my newsletter I, and then the I created a, an extensive super helpful program called the soul garden that's on my website at peacockandpaisley.com and um, oh and Diane, just Diane, you're also with a narcissist sorry to hear it you, 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 when set yourself up right and get out of that and you can heal and you, you can get out but you've got to be super careful um, the soul garden is designed to help people heal especially from narcissistic abuse Hi, Joanne. You want a relationship? Will you meet someone soon? Tamla says, at Amanda, brave soul, congrats. And just saying, it's been five long years. Oof. Just, I know you know this. It's not going to... Okay, I'm not even going to say that. It will get better when you're free from them. Lillian, you sent some money. Cool. Let me see. Let me see. Sometimes it takes a while for me to get like an email and I can get to you faster if I know so this is great thanks for thanks for doing a payment I'm excited to do a, hey there it is I'm excited to do a reading for you oh cool <laughs> I love how you um created your username 
you lost everything, but it was, but it's worth it. <laughs> yep. Physical things, even if they have sentimental value, are not worth as much as you are. And you've got to honor yourself. You're excited. Phonetic. Yes. Yes, Lillian. <laughs> By the way, I love the name Lillian. And I, so. Yay. Cool. All right. Let me get your, let's go throw some music on here. And I just started your timer. Tama says that Amanda sentiment is within you. Um, all right, so I am just starting a reading for a paid reading for uh, Lillian, and if you could tell me what your question is, that would be awesome. down your question that's a question okay let me pull a couple of cards and I'll just ask you know what does Lillian need to know right now and that you just you can keep asking me questions and responding going back and forth let me see if I can pull you on nope oh cool hobby Lillian has a hobby farm that mentors all ages to improve horsemanship and help rescues Oh, that's beautiful, Lillian. Okay. Ooh, that was... Instant! I started to shuffle the cards, and one came out immediately. Like, several other ones, too, but... This is the one that landed face up. The Sage. And this is basically about... You have hard-earned wisdom that you have gathered over the years. Um, and I'm getting that it's time for you to share it. Oh, like like big okay and so there's a I know it's hard to see with the lighting and all that good stuff I'm trying to make it so it's visible anyway there's a full moon in there and then there are these wand spear looking things which um to me they look like <laughs> they look like a combination of a magic wand like you know a la Harry Potter um a sage bundle which is for smudging spiritually clearing a space um, and objects, and then um, with a crystal on the end, and then there's also this deck is a little rough. Some of them are a little rough. Those are teeth, like wisdom teeth. That's how I think of it. But it's time for you to share. All right, now a lot of other cards came out. I'm gonna go through them quickly, um, and please ask questions if you have any information. I feel like you're supposed to. Just, Share your wisdom through the mentoring that you do at the farm. You're complicated. <laughs> Good. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to... Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, my God. These are great. And I'm getting goosebumps again. Okay. So here is one of the, car the other cards that came out. Share wisdom. So, again, share wisdom. And set those roots deep. And allow things to, like, flower is the word that came up. Flower and grow and spread branches and dig in deep. Dare to dream. That is like a, an eagle's talon holding on to um, a diamond. Like, you know, has a freaking grip on it. Like, go for it. Um, get wild. So this card is complicated for me. Um, but the thing that really stands out to me the most about this card um, is, okay, so the moon cycles are showing, are standing out today to me. This is like the Ruth Bader, Gin I don't know what they meant for that to be, but to, it, this reminds me of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Like, you know, stand up for your rights as a woman. Wild Hair Acres is your farm. Well, that's perfect for Ostara. Are you familiar with Ostara? And um, the wild hair and fertility and spring and freedom and abundance yeah I was, this is, today is supposedly Ostara it doesn't feel like it to me I feel like there's something a little bit di different with the timing but um, yeah it's all about 
you know, it's where Easter came from. It's all about eggs and snakes. And there's one right there. Movement. There's a snake that's, it, to me, it looks like it's moving the egg forward. But it's, snakes are about wisdom, um, shedding your old skin and continuing to grow, resurrection. Um, and eggs are about, like, infinity and fertility and, um, Regeneration. You're writing a story about that? This snake? For real? Oh, Ficus? Oh, what is that about? Okay, your timer just went off, but you still have a couple more cards. So while you're typing that in, let me get to the other cards too. The Weaver, which is about weaving your fate, and again, another snake. It's an Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail, which again is about cycles and um, and continued life the 13th constellation okay I have things to learn <laughs> the 13th constellation oh, that sounds cool anyway, okay so let me go back to this one the other aspect of this is about recovering after abuse um, and for those of you who are in here recovering from abuse this is this aspect of this card is something that really heartens me, which is um, this card talks about dogs who have been abused and then they get into a, you know, a new good home and it's amazing how open they are to still loving, taking a chance to still love people even after other people have done something terrible to them. So. Um, So the other part of this is movement, like do the thing. That's you, horrible stuff. It's why you help animals. See, I told you guys, tap that screen, tap that screen, bring people in. Somebody will do a reading and it will be helpful for you. Because this is what we we're talking about for several other people. I'm sorry, Lillian. Animals are beautiful. Amanda, thanks for liking the live. Lillian, thanks for liking the live. So this is about you using your wisdom, doing the thing that you have a dream you learned and help others. And I'm one, and you're saying that I'm wonderful. Well, thank you. Thank you. And you forgave hard stuff. I think the biggest thing for other people who are listening to this right now to know is that the only one you have to forgive is yourself and then everything else will you know you can handle later forgive yourself honor yourself and move on yeah the, the forgiving part I um, don't for anybody else who's listening, don't worry about forgiving anybody else. Just forgive yourself. The other people just they're going to they're going to go away like, you know, they're falling away. The good trains go in one direction and the bad trains go in the other. So as long as you're safe, once you get safe, that's that's it. So anyway, so yes. P okay, so Lillian, people are going to be coming into your world. Lillian is a beautiful person. Thanks for your work. Oh, Amanda, do you know Lillian? That's nice of you to say, Amanda. So people are going to come. They're dead. Didn't make it easier. You're not afraid anymore. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, but other people who are in here, they're not, the other people aren't, their abusers are not yet <laughs> passed over. Um, from death comes life. Yep. So Lillian, people are going to come into your world through the farm. And, Hanan, hi. Um, people are going to, Lillian, people are going to come into your world through, at the farm, through the farm, and you're going to be helping them. 
to recover. And you're gonna like start a federation is the word that came in? I was thinking some sort of a group and then federation. I don't know what that's about, but um and um and it's yeah, so that's all. Okay. <laughs> you guys are done. You love Star Trek? Do you really? Is that what it's from? The Federation? Yeah, the Federation. Uh, that's the word that came through. That's so cool. I, I love that stuff. <laughs> you see, Lillian says yes. Oh my god. They're gonna, you guys are saying they're gonna come to you. Be ready. Be prepared. You can do this. And it's going to be really fulfilling and satisfying. So not only are you helping the animals, but you're you're also going to be helping some people. And they're not giving me much. They're they're like ending it, like they're not giving me more information. <laughs> <laughs> Lily says, "Okay, thanks so much. Do you have a name of your guides?" <laughs> they said, "Nope," and they could like feel. The answer coming in, typical. <laughs> they go, nope. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and usually I don't get names of guides. Sometimes, you know, if somebody's family is on the other side, um, they almost never tell me a name. Um, but sometimes they'll give me, like, physical descriptions or situations so that it's clear to, you know, the client who's talk who who's talking um but this is they're done <laughs> that might give you a clue as to who it is you might they're telling me to stop <laughs> oh and the oh the, the 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 album cover for the song that's on pandora right now that i just turned on has a, a beautiful big bison on it Hi, I think your name's Trista. I can't read it because the print's so small. Um, but hello, welcome. Thanks for saying hi. And Hanan, thanks for liking the live and thanks for all of your love and everything. Um, there's a there's a bison, a raven, a deer. Ooh, I think there's like a, a wolf or a coyote and maybe a turtle. There's a bunch of animals in there. But the bison is the one that stood out. Trista. Okay, hi. Thank you, Trista. Hi. Welcome. So this is the car, another card that fell out. Strength. Again, roots. Put that that energy out in there. Wow. The card to be in. You're from Iowa. Oh, cool. Trista, welcome. Hi, Ashley. Well, Lillian, thank you. I I enjoyed reading for you. And this is this card came out again. <laughs> Dare to dream. Like, go for it. Grasp that diamond with the talons. Like, and do it. Which I know you're capable of. Ah, you gotta keep me updated. You gotta keep me updated, Lillian. Where's your farm, Lillian? Tama, do I think the messages come in clearer when there are less people on the live? I don't know. I think I block people. <laughs> Which is bad for me. <laughs> it's a bad business move on my part, but I, I, I do think that like, like when I get into like serious readings, people drop. So Tama, I don't know. That's a really good question. And yes, thank you for laughing. Hi, sunshine. Welcome. How you doing? Yeah, I don't know. What do you think, Tama? You've watched a bunch of my readings. What do you think? I think that's a really interesting and excellent question and I've been wondering um because I get frustrated that there are so few people um from a business perspective from those were two great reads thank you thank you yeah I, I was just saying I was just about to say I really you know those I really enjoyed those reads and they were really good um that that's fun Amira, did I get your name right? You're the bow lady. Hello, welcome. 
So if anybody would like, um, my list is open. You are welcome to do a $33 payment, come back, and um, and I can do a reading for you. But um, I am probably going to wrap up in about 10 minutes because I'm hungry and it's dinner time. <laughs> I'm trying. You guys have been getting to bed ridiculously late which is not good for me. I'm always, you know, it's really important to get sleep. I've been up too late, so I'm trying to... Stephanie, was that Stephanie Sprinkle? Hello, welcome. I'm trying to push my schedule earlier. Hi, James. <coughs> <coughs> hey, is Jessa hanging out in the background? Thank you for having you. Tim, of course. You're welcome. I'm so glad you're here. It's always a pleasure talking with you. I'm I'm glad you're here. Is anybody having trouble breathing? <laughs> and if there's every if there's anybody who is watching but you're not in the room, can you please just pop in the room and raise your hand or whatever? Stephanie Sprinkle, hello from North Carolina. Hi, welcome. How are you doing? Why does your... Hanan, is that you? Are you having trouble breathing? Hanan says, girl, I'm sorry. What's going on? I always feel your energy laugh, laughing your ass off. Yep. Okay. All right. Anxiety. Well, I'm sending some, some loving healing energy your way if you would like to receive it. You're welcome. If you don't want it, just let it blow on by. Is there anything we can do about the... Oh. I was gonna say, is there anything we can do about the anxiety? But it's it's pretty pretty intense. Receiving love, thank you. You're welcome, Hana. Gosh, I can feel that all the way down to my toe, you know, to your toes. Wow. I'm sorry you're going through that. I'm sorry for the situations that are causing Hi Grinder, welcome back. <clears throat> Hanan, is there anything we can do for you? It's okay, thank you, babe. You just gotta work through it. doing a little prayer for you. Thanks for liking the live. Ah. Tama Hanan I mean, Hana and Tama is sending you hugs and understanding. And Hana's, Hana's sending them back to Tama. Oh. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being so lovely. I'm so glad you guys are in here. Hi, Nita. Welcome. Hi, Cosmic. Welcome. Oh, that's awesome. Hanan says, thank you both. You really helped. Your chest hurts less seriously. I'm glad. Hi, Nita. Thanks for the um, butterfly, too. Amanda, you feel her anxiety, too. It's so hard. Yes. Oh, we've got a room full of empaths. Yay! Empaths unite. Uh, thanks, you guys. Thanks for tapping the screen. I appreciate it. Lisa, thank you for following me. So if anybody's new, you can find all my stuff at peacockandpaisley.com. And um, 
And Lisa, you're an empath too. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. You love this? Oh, cool. Well, I'm really glad. I'm glad you're here. Oh, yeah. So you have to go. You have to let go now? Okay. Yeah, Tamla, I hope you feel. I hope you heal up quickly. See you again. Cool beans, Tamla. Look forward to it. Um, if anybody's new, I encourage you to sign up for my newsletter that's on my website. Um, and there is a, um, I just created a workbook for uh, working with your intuition. And that's on in my shop. And it is free for like the next week or something like that. So, um, Lisa Ohio Smith. What a great name. You're welcome, Tama. Um, so I welcome you guys to go check that out. There's also a new course on connecting with your intuition. Um, and, um, and of course there's the soul garden, which has everything in it. Everything's included. And it's a great way to heal from, um, life, <laughs> but, uh, narcissistic abuse, toxic relationships, burnout, um, it gives you tools to handle all of the changes that we're going through and then all the stuff that's happening in the world. All of that. Aw, oh, Hanan, thanks for liking the live so much. I appreciate you. All right, you'll check it out. Cool beans, Amanda. Let me know if you have any questions. <coughs> so, oh, Hanan, thank you. Psychic. <laughs> I appreciate it. You remembered. Lisa, healing from a very long false twin flame journey. He turned out to be a liar and a narcissist. Oh, yuck. Yeah, well, you'll really benefit from the soul garden then. I really, I, I created it. I've been building it for decades, honestly. Well, specifically on my website for over 10 years, but I've been studying and learning and being trained for like 30 years. Um, uh, thanks, Hanan. So all of that learning and information is in there. And basically it's, you know, modern mystical techniques and tools based on ancient wisdom and practices, but translated for the modern woman. So it's, it's incredibly effective and trauma, I mean, like beyond trauma informed. There's a lot of people that talk about being trauma informed, but, um, but then they push you and that's the opposite of what you need when you're recovering from narcissistic abuse. You just need gentle because you're, you're healing physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And it all goes together. Lisa says, wow, life only been on your journey a few years. Can't wait to check my website out. Cool. Awesome. You are invited. Somebody came in who had like a pink heart for a profile name. That's cool. Hello. Welcome. Hi, Mindy Catherine. Oh, Amanda, thanks for following me. I'm glad. And then says at Lisa, she's sorry, sorry. Uh, Hanan went through that a couple of years ago and it's really hard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you can recover fully and come out better than you were before that person, before the narcissist. <laughs> and for those of you who have narcissistic parents or other family members, it works for that too. And, you know, once you start healing these things, you, you won't be vulnerable. Oh, thank you. Who did that? Amanda. Thank you. I already became the number 105 person on the team. Thank you. Lisa says at Hanan, thank you. Um, you feel you're already a better person without him. Awesome, Lisa. Rock on. Awesome. 
So as you know, hi Joanne Jenkins, welcome. As you know, narcissists love empaths because we have beautiful energy and that's all they're in it for. They don't care about you at all. Um, and they're just there to suck your energy. And then when they start running out of the good energy or you start to, you know, when they stop love bombing you, it's because, um, usually because they've started working on somebody else, but also then they go into making you feel miserable because they'll eat off your misery for as long as they can and then replace you. Um, so getting out is the only thing you can do and good for you. Natural by nature. Oh, cool. Welcome. So that's the, that's the scoop. You guys, Jessa, how are you? What's going on? I'm just about to hop off, but it, I, um, They love to see you hurt. Yeah, they do. They feed off of that. They do feed off of it. You just got out for the day. Oh, cool. <coughs> Did you have something upsetting happen? Meeting tomorrow morning. You could, you could telepathically hear me getting ready to ask you. You nervous about it? I can feel somebody's heart flutter pulse. Oh, Hanan sending love and light to you, Lisa Smith. You're not nervous? Good for you. Good for you. I'm glad. Kicking ass. All right. I'm going to hear all about it afterwards. <laughs> Well, I'm just getting ready to go for dinner. Gotta go cook it. If anybody has any last minute questions, this would be the moment to ask. Somebody named Helen came in. Hello, hello, welcome. <clears throat> Aw, Hanan, thanks for all the loves. Thanks for the likes. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Quoth the raven. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I love you guys. I'm sorry to run. I love visiting with you, but I look forward to seeing you again soon. Um, and I will, um, oh, so if anybody wants, uh, Jessa, I don't know if you heard or Hanan, uh, oh, Hanan says, we love you, Heather, see you soon. Thank you, Hanan. Love you too. Hi, Tree. I am just getting ready to hop off as so, a tree. Sorry to run now that you just got here, but if you follow me up here, um, I will look forward to seeing you in another live. Um, and I just wanted to mention, in case you guys didn't already hear, um, I created a workbook for connecting with your intuition. It's on the website and it's free for like the next week. So go go grab it while you got it. You got me already. Oh, good tree. Okay, good. I'm glad. Wait. Okay, good tree. I'm not sure if I, I don't, sorry, I don't remember you. Um, great. Amanda says, great live and energy. Thanks for your support. You're welcome, Amanda. Tree, I thought you were somebody else for a second. Um, but I'm glad you're, um, I'm glad you're following me. I know you don't either. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I hope you guys all have a lovely night. I'll see you sometime soon. Mwah! Many blessings.